Yo guys, the topic of this video is going to be about um, Islam or Christianity, so I got the Bible here, the Holy Quran translation here by Abdullah Yusuf Ali, or we got the Bible here, the King James version of the Bible, this is going to be about Christian, oh, let's see, oh, was it? I actually wrote this down somewhere, let me just double check, Islam or Christianity. This is like a very interesting um, topic, Islam or Christianity. It seems like I'm just gonna be very biased and I'm just gonna like promote Islam in this video because of the name of my channel and the ethnic background. Pakistan, I'm just gonna be promoting Islam, talking about how Islam is better than Christianity, but let's really compare these two religions, Islam or Christianity in a very like um, open way, in a, ver in a way that isn't like very, me like being very biased and intellectually dishonest. Like, let's actually, Compare both of these like religions carefully. Oh shoot, do I have something on my arm? Let's carefully compare both of these religions. Islam or Christianity. Okay guys, so I'm um, starting off with um, uh, Islam. Islam's kind of like, if you compare Islam and Christianity, people when they, when they want to compare these two religions, typically what they do is, I, do, I guess they look at like, um, obviously the holy scriptures, the holy text, that's what you would want, you would want to start off with, right? The, the Quran here, which is for Islam, and you've got the Bible there, which is for Christianity, and you've got all these pages here that you can look through, you've got all these pages there you can look through, Quran, Bible. Typically when we're, when we're discussing like, um, fucking, um, the, the fucking, um, these two religions, we people, they, what, what are you going to start off with? Islam or Christianity, like, where, what, what, what's that mean? What, what, what are we going to start off with? Are you going to be talking about, am I going to be talking about like, the politics or like the, the theological aspects of Islam or religion or the holy scriptures. Typically people, when they discuss these religions, they, they start with the holy scriptures, the Quran and the, the Bible. And just, okay, now let's start off with the, the holy scriptures now. Really, if you look at the, um, the, the, the uh, Quran, compare it to the Bible. Obviously the Bible is a lot more uh, dense than the Quran. The Quran is like a, lo a lot more brief in my opinion. I actually did read through both of these books very meticulously, carefully. I read through the Bible two times over read through the Quran a couple, like a lot more than two times over. I read the Quran like a gazillion times over, read the Bible a gazillion times over. And both of these religious texts, one of the things you'll notice is that there is like some similarities between obviously the Quran and the Bible. There are similarities for sure. And obviously that makes sense because they're both Abrahamic scriptures. They come, they're about it. Like they, they come from the Abrahamic so they like they they relate to like Abraham and etc. Because Islam or, or Christianity, Islam and Christianity really, the Quran does kind of like cover, it kind of like, almost like kind of retells like the Old Testament. It kind of like summarizes, not really summarizes, but it does kind of like give like, like it does mention like all the, the, the episodes and the events that were occurring in the Old Testament. So there's like a relationship there between the Quran and the Old Testament in the Bible, specifically the Old Testament, the Quran. I don't think the Quran has any type of relationship with the, uh, the, the Gospels, the New Testament, but for sure. The, the, the Quran has like a very intimate relationship with the Old Testament or the Hebrew Bible, Tanakh, because, you know, because of the fact that, um, obviously the Quran supposedly is, it relates to like Abraham and the biblical prophets, the Quran, Prophet Muhammad said that he came as like a, some type of like, um, person to like kind of re institute or revitalize these like Abrahamic peoples, not, not peoples, but prophets, the Abrahamic prophets and their messages and etc. Muhammad came as like a, as a final, like, um, person as, a, as the last prophet supposedly to kind of to, to kind of give, give back like respect to these biblical prophets and etc and stuff and so really so the, the, the holy quran one of the things when, when you read through the quran is that you'll be kind of astonished at the fact that it has like a lot of similarities to the old testament in the sense that you 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 will be you when you read through the quran you're gonna be like hearing moses you'll be like hearing the name of moses not hearing but you will be seeing the name of moses on like a lot of different pages moses David, the Israelites are mentioned as well. There's like a lot of like the, the the Holy Quran has like a very intimate relationship with the Old Testament. Although the Holy Quran does not have any type of relationship with the, the New Testament, the Gospel. So that that is like how the Quran, the Holy Quran, relates to the Holy Bible. The Holy Quran is, has like a very intimate relationship relationship with the um the Old Testament, the Hebrew Bible, the Tanakh, but no relationship with the Gospels. And I guess that's because. Actually, is that is it? No, because the, the Jesus Christ, Christianity kind of predates Islam. Does yeah, Christianity predates Islam. Islam came sixth century A.D. C.E. and um, the Bible and Christianity that is like um from the first century millennium, whatever. Not millennium, but it's like from like the the, the, the like one A.D. Like back backtracking past the, the Christianity kind of like predates Islam. Actually, Islam is kind of like a it's like a newer religion. So actually, perhaps it is kind of a little bit dubious why. 
the Quran doesn't have like doesn't really relate a lot to the uh, the, to the New Testament Gospels. The Quran really only intimately. If we're gonna like compare like the Quran and the Bible, and we, if we're gonna like just talk about like how they relate to each other, the Quran it has like a very intimate relationship with the Old Testament, with the Tanakh, the Hebrew Bible. But the Quran doesn't really have any type of like relationship with the Gospels and the and the New Testament. And I wonder if that's because of the fact that um Muhammad he didn't really care, or maybe not Muhammad, but like actually maybe perhaps Muhammad because he supposedly, but Muhammad was like just like a person that was like, like getting the revelation of the Quran down from Allah supposedly himself. Maybe that's because the reason like there's not really any men mention of like the Gospels in the Quran is because because maybe perhaps. I don't know, maybe because it wasn't really, I mean, Jesus is like mentioned a little bit and there's like mentions of the crucifixion, etc. But like, not like a lot of like the, the in terms of like narratives, like the Quran doesn't really go cover a lot of like the, the Gospels. It really does. The Quran does like have a very intimate relationship with the Old Testament, the Hebrew Bible, Tanakh. There's like a lot of the similarities, similar stories. Like if you read through the Old Testament and you read through the Quran, you're going like, to you're gonna like make out so many different types of connections. So if we, if we want to compare the Holy Quran to the Holy Bible, one of the things you'll quickly realize and note, note down is that there is like quite an int like the Quran has like a very intimate relationship with the Old Testament, the Tanakh, the Hebrew Bible, but the Quran does not have any type of like intimate relationship with the Gospels and etc. and stuff like that, except for maybe like mentioning like bits of like, bits about the crucifixion and etc. and Jesus being like a messenger, but there's no like, it, like lot, there's no like great like information re relating to like like a lot of the narratives found in the Gospels, but there's like, if you read through like the, the Holy Quran and the Holy Bibles, one of the things you'll quickly note down is that the Holy Quran has like a very intimate relationship with the uh, the, the Old Testament. And that's kind of quite interesting. And I wonder why that is, why why the Quran has like such a very intimate relationship with the uh, the Old Testament, the Hebrew Bible, the Tanakh, but not with like the Gospels, except for maybe mentioning about the uh, a bit, bits of like information about Jesus's life and the crucifixion, etc. But anyway, to back on topic, back on topic, Islam or Christianity, obviously now we have to start with like the, the, the Holy Scriptures text, the Holy Quran compared to the Holy Bible. In my opinion though, I read through both of these scriptures very intimately, carefully, meticulously, the Holy Quran and the Holy Bible. I, can, I know it's gonna be, it seems like I'm just going to be biased because of like my ethnic background, Pakistani guy and like the name of my channel. I'm just going to be very biased. I'm just going to like say that the Quran is better than the Bible just because and you're going to assume that I'm just being like intellectually dishonest and etc. But if you carefully read through the Holy Quran, and if you carefully read through the Holy Bible, and from my personal experience, I believe that the Holy Quran is like a lot more um, wholesome in the sense that the Holy Quran, like you there's like passages like there is no compulsion in religion, which is like there was like a big fat misconception that the Quran is like very violent because you look at like the Middle East and Afghanistan, you look at like a lot of Muslim countries, you look at you, you look at the politics of these different of all of these like Muslim countries, and you just quickly assume that okay, fair now Islam has to be a violent religion because of the politics of the Middle East and etc. Even though you look at Indonesia, look at Malaysia. You know, those are Muslim countries. There's like people when when we when, they always look at like these Arab countries and oh, like Islam has to be a violent religion because you know these Arab countries like are all like shitty. That's because of Islam. What about like um, what about Indonesia, Malaysia? Those are Muslim countries. Those are actually actually the, the most like of the world's Muslim population lives in like Southeast Asia. Not even in like the in the Middle East. Actually, there's more Muslims in like Southeast Asia and South Asia as well. India, you know, like so. Anyway, like. But you, 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 I mean, I, before you, before I guess you, you, like, you would even like consider like Islam or Christianity, a lot of you are gonna have like misconceptions, bigotries, and etc. A lot of you are gonna assume that oh, Islam is like a violent religion, it's, it's a religion for terrorist people, brown people that have like dirty skin, and etc. and stuff, and they're ugly to look at, and you can't, so Islam's like not the right religion, obviously. A lot of people have this type of, these types of misconceptions and bigotries, and etc. and stuff. Oh, okay, fair enough. But if you look past like a lot of these superficial, superficialities, etc. Maybe, I mean, Arabs are pretty ugly. I'm actually, maybe, should I say that on this? I don't know. When I say, when I, when I say Islam, the Quran, you're going to be thinking about Arabs, and Arabs are pretty ugly, I'm not going to lie, but you, I, I hope my video doesn't get taken down. If I say this, if you, if you look past that, if you look past all of these superficialities, if you just look at, like, if you just read the actual books yourself in careful detail, you'd, like, understand what I'm saying. I mean, you'd understand what I'm saying, like, very careful detail. <laughs> I know you're gonna be thinking, I say Islam, you're gonna be thinking about Arabs, like we're in the phobes with guns and etc. and stuff like that. It's all dumb. Like some ugly Arab guy with like a fold, like a long beard, messed up hair, etc. But like if you. If you <laughs> but if you look at, if you look past these superficialities, these stereotypes, these misconceptions and bigotries, if you look, if you carefully study the Quran, you'll come across like verses like, there is no compulsion in religion, zakat, charity. Islam is quite wholesome, actually. It's a very wholesome religion. It's like, so all these misconceptions 
And of course, when I say Islam, you would be thinking about like a brown, ugly Arab guy, big beard, like a gun, and he's like ready to shoot you in the face. Even though, you know, again, Indonesians, Malaysians, Arabs actually are not even like the majority of Muslims. A lot of Muslims are Indians, Pakistanis like me. And then you have like Malaysians, Indonesians. There's so many like Muslim people that aren't, you that you, you would look at like a, a Malaysian person, an Indonesian, you you think, oh, this guy's Chinese. No, he, he's actually, um he's Chinese. He can't be a Muslim. He, 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 may, he probably, he's probably Chinese. He, he's not a Muslim. Muslims have to be like brown and ugly and etc. and with guns. Obviously, there, there are a lot of Muslims are like Arabs. Obviously, I'm not a dumbass. I'm, I'm not going to say that. But you know, like, you know, like, but uh, you gotta look at like Malaysians, Indonesians, they, these guys anyway, but these misconceptions, stereotypes, bigotries, that's what's holding a lot of you guys back from even like seeing like a lot of the beauty in Islam is like all these misconceptions, bigotries, fucking horror, like stereotypes, that's what's holding you guys back, I guarantee it. I say Islam, you're just gonna be thinking about some brown, ugly Arab guy. I mean, I, I'm, uh, hopefully this video isn't gonna get taken down. Nah, probably is gonna get taken down. Am I even allowed to say that Arabs are ugly? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Maybe, but... Other than like, but you gotta look past these like superficialities, these, these bigotries. My long <laughs> you, know, you gotta look past these superficialities. <laughs> you gotta look past these superficialities and just look at, look at, like very carefully, meticulously study like the, whole, the scriptural text of the Quran and the Bible carefully. And actually, these misconceptions that um. That like Islam's a violent religion, it's all gonna disappear. Because you'll quickly, if you read through the Quran, you'll come across verses like there is no compulsion in religion. To you be your way, to be to me be mine. Muhammad was like very he was actually quite wholesome and reasonable. Muhammad was actually a pretty nice guy, actually. In like because he was like in the seventh century, he was trying to like to, to like create charity, zakat. Look at like analyze one of the five pillars of Islam. You got zakat. That's all about charity, giving money to poor people. Muhammad was actually a pretty decent guy. A lot of you just gonna see Muhammad as like some brown terrorist guy, very ugly Arab guy, has like a gun and a big beard and a, an oversized nose. Obviously, these superficialities, these stereotypes, there's some like merit to them, obviously, but you gotta look past them and you gotta look at just the, the, the actual like scriptural text of the Quran and the Bible. You gotta look past all these superficialities and stereotypes and bigotries. Actually, analyze, look at Islam like in, a, in an academic sense, like look at the Quran and carefully like study through the Quran and also the Bible, because obviously Islam or Christianity, I'm like making a com comparative, comparative study right now, but Islam or Christianity, I would like really say that Islam actually comes out on top. If we're comparing like the Bible and the Quran, the Holy Quran, the Bible in, in regards to like, in regards to like, in, in like a very humanitarian sense, in, in regards to like what, what's more wholesome, the, the Quran or the Bible. If you read the Bible, there's so much fucked up shit in the Bible. The Bible has like all these like atrocities, genocides, Yahweh, Adonai, Jehovah fucks and kills like children. Second Kings 2 2 4. There's so many fucked up things in the Bible. The Quran doesn't have as many fucked up things. I know it sounds like it's so fucking, it's like so, it's, it seems like I'm just being like biased and intellectually dishonest. But if you meticulously study through both of these like religious scriptures and texts, you'll come to this type of realization that I have that the Quran is like a lot more wholesome and reasonable. I know what you be, because it seems like so absurd when I say that, because of all of these like misconceptions and bigotries and stereotypes, everything's like twisted around, and you think that. Islam is actually fucking worse than Christianity because of like these bigotry stereotypes and like all the news reports and etc and stuff like that. Obviously, there's some merit to like a lot of these stereotypes. I'm not gonna be a dumb. I'm not saying that if you go to like the Middle East, you're, you're people are just gonna like welcome you and touch you and hold you together and like love you. I'm not gonna say that. There, there is like there is like a lot of merit to like these stereotypes. Like Arabs are like some like especially if you go to the Middle East, like they're like very violent people. There, obviously, I'm not gonna say that. It, it, you have to like this is like where this is, this is like this is so important you have to like separate religion like islam the religion from like the people the practitioners of the faith because you look at the middle east you're just gonna be thinking about taliban terrorists these guys they're they these, look at these guys so islam's a shitty religion because of these guys we gonna like separate the religion from like the practitioners of the faith i know it sounds like maybe a lot of you will be like well they're they're practicing the religion so why why would why should you need to separate them I, I, aren't they supposed to like represent the religion aren't they like supposedly representing the religion anyway but you look at like um christianity you know christianity you got the crusaders do, do, do they represent christianity obviously not the crusaders in the middle ages they were like very twisted killing a lot of people do they represent christianity would would any like catholic person any like serious christian person say that the crusaders are like perfect like they represent christianity in a proper way no no they won't so you gotta like separate the practitioners of the religion from the actual religion itself, the, 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 the religion, the Quran, Islam, it seems like, it seems like, it seems like Islam 
is like way worse than Christianity because of all these bigotries, misconceptions, stereotypes. It seems like Islam is just way worse than Christianity. In actuality, it's like the other way around. Christianity is worse than Islam. If you analyze the Bible, you'll come, especially specifically the Old Testament, you'll come across all these like fucking atrocities, genocides. Yahweh, the, the biblical God, fucking kills so many people, it's so unreal. Mass killings, genocides. Numbers 31, 18, Moses allows the Israelites to abduct child war brides. Moses, like a biblical prophet, like Moses. People, when I say Muhammad, you think about like a warlord, a terrorist. Look at Moses. Moses fucking um, allowed the Israelites to abduct child war brides. That's fucking facts. Look at, like, carefully look at Numbers 31, 18. There's so many, like, all these, like, verses, all these, like, violent, all, there's, like, so much violent, fucked up shit in, like, the Old Testament. And all of you Christians be like, well, look at the New Testament. The Old Testament's not really even important. But, you know, Jesus said he, he didn't come to, like, do away with it. Like, he came to fulfill it in some sense. So the, the Old Testament's very much relevant. And so anyway, but I don't want to keep dwelling on this. But anyway, the, how does the Quran compare to the Bible in regards to, like, what, what is, like, more wholesome, the Quran or the Bible? I would say that the Quran actually is, like, so much more um, wholesome, better, easier to read, etc. And stuff. it's more, like... It, it really, just, it, you, once you start reading the Quran, it's actually, good, and once you start reading the Bible, you'll notice how the Quran is like a lot more wholesome and decent. And it seems like it's, it's so absurd because of all these bigotries, misconceptions, stereotypes. And you look at the politics of the Middle East and you're like thinking that, oh, the Quran's probably just way worse than the Bible. Islam's just like a violent, shitty terrorist religion. But actually, if you look past these bigotries, if you look, at, if you actually like, in an, a very academic sense, if you study the Quran and you study the Bible, Carefully, you'll notice that the Quran is so much better, so much more wholesome. It's actually quite a lot more wholesome. The Quran is so much more wholesome than the Bible. And it's so paradoxical when I say that. It's so like oxymoronic. It's, it's like it's like so twisted when I say that, that the Quran is like a lot more wholesome than the Bible. It's, like, it's almost paradoxical in the sense because of the, all of these misconceptions, bigotries. You look at like, because Christianity, when I say Christianity, all you're gonna be thinking about is like a, a nice clean church, a nice like white family and etc and stuff like that. You're not gonna be thinking about fucking violent shit. If, if we went to the Middle Ages, when I say Christianity, you'd be thinking about the Crusaders. So you gotta, you gotta understand, it's all about the time period and the context and the politics. Look at, you look at the Middle East, it's all fucked up and shitty. And so when I say Islam now, you're just, gonna, you're just gonna be thinking about terrorists and people that have guns, it's so dumb. That's just because of the fucking, the way, just because of like how pol the politics of the Middle East are now. Remember, time keeps moving on and on things keep changing in a couple centuries from now maybe perhaps the middle east is actually going to be a lot more calmed down and europe might be more violent i don't know who knows but you got all these superficialities you got to throw them aside just look at like study both these religion religions in an academic sense the quran or the bible what's more wholesome i'm gonna have to say the quran for sure is like a lot more wholesome e easier to digest and more like nicer the Bible is like so fucked up. It's like so many twisted things. Anyway, I don't want to keep dwelling on that. Other than like the Holy Scriptures and texts, what else? Because in regards to like the Holy Scriptures text, I would say that the uh, the the Quran's like a lot better than the Bible. But other than like the Holy Scriptures, what else? In, theologically, in, in like a theological sense, Islam or Christianity. What do I mean by theological? Islam or Christianity is like. Now we're gonna be talking about like. What what is like better, Islam or Christianity? In like theological in a theological sense. What is better? I would have to say Islam or Christianity in a theological sense. What is better? I would say that, well, what, what do I mean by theology? Because that, that's, that's actually just gonna relate back to the, the, the Holy Scriptures, Holy Text, because the theology, Islamic theology is found in the Quran. I don't know, anyway, maybe not theological, but like Islam, let's just look at Islam or Christianity in a more historical sense, political sense, that's actually a more interesting way to compare these two religions in a historical, political sense. Obviously, you look at like the Middle East now, it's all fucked up and shitty. Is that because of Islam? I wouldn't, I would not say so. I would say that's because of the, um, just because of like how the politics of the Middle East are and etc. and stuff like that. And you gotta understand the Middle East has been like a crossroads for different empires and there's been like a lot of different political wars and violence and etc it's not that's not because people they look at the middle east why is it all like shitty and violent is that because of islam no it's not just because of islam people are so dumb about this man there's other issues that are like plaguing the middle east it's not just because of like the religion these like superficialities there's other issues but people they always particularly pick on like islam which is kind of ridiculous anyway but um not just that other 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 than uh, other than that um what else there's like fucking um Islam or Christianity, historical, political sense. 
if you look at the historical like reality of Islam, Christianity, a lot of Muslim, the Ottoman Empire, when I say Islam in terms of like in a historical historical sense, what do, what are you gonna be thinking about if I say that Islam in a in a historical sense? You mean like because there are so many different like Muslim civilizations, empires. You got Al Andalus. You got fucking um the Ottoman Empire, Mughal Empire. There's so many Muslim civilizations and cultures. It's like they're all pretty different. But you know, one of the interesting things is if you compare like a lot of the Muslim like empires in the past compared to like a lot of the Christian Catholic empires in the past, one of the things you'll quickly notice is that a lot of the Muslim empires, there were, there were, I think there were like a lot more. In the past, there, were, there was like more intellectualism and stuff. Christianity in the past, in like a lot of Catholic Christian empires, you literally, if you said something against like um, the, the, the state religion, Christianity, you would literally sometimes get butchered. You literally get like burnt alive. Like a lot, there was like a lot of witch burnings, all this violent shit in the past. Whereas in like a lot of Muslim nations, etc., Muslim civilizations, there was like more like egalitarianism. Actually, maybe perhaps no, maybe it depends. Again, it really does depend. If we're, if we're talking about like the historical, if we're trying to compare Islam or Christianity in a very historical political sense, it's like it depends so massively. Because in terms of like politics, you look at the Middle East, oh, Islam's a violent religion, but people, a lot of people forget that. You look at Southeast Asia, Indonesia, Malaysia, those are like Muslim civilizations, those are like Muslim countries with a predominant Muslim population, and those countries are very relaxed. Indonesia, Malaysia, these are like Muslim countries, you know that. Not just like the Middle East, look at Indonesia, Malaysia, these like Muslim countries. If you look in terms of like politics, if you look at these countries, they're very relaxed, calm. There's no violence happening there. Look at the Middle East, oh, it's all violent terrorists and shit. So it really depends all of these like, because Islam or Christianity, if we're talking about like these like, um, all these like things relating to like politics and history, etc. It really depends. I can't fucking um, this video. I don't, I don't want this video to be too long. It's almost like 21 minutes. Fucking shit. The camera is gonna turn off any second now. It's gonna be too overheated. It's almost crazy Christianity in a nutshell. I mean, I think I'm gonna make uh, making this video way too long. It really depends if we're talking about politics or history. That really depends. The, in terms of, like the, the the holy scriptures text. In terms of, like theology, I believe Islam comes out on top. Islam. Whoopsie daisy guys, the camera quickly turned off. Whoopsie daisy guys, the camera quickly turned off. Anyway, I do believe honestly that Islam comes out on top. I believe Christianity is very flawed. Christianity, the religion is very flawed. I don't think the the the, the, the like the um the reasoning behind the Trinity is like very valid. I don't think the Bible is very valid. I think the Bible has a variety of different types of flaws. The Bible is filled with atrocities and crimes like that and crimes against humanity. Yahweh Adonai kills quite a lot of people in the Bible, in the Old Testament, in the T Hebrew Bible as well, the Tanakh. So Islam or Christianity, I'm honestly, it does seem like I'm being fucking intellectually dishonest and like very biased because of like my ethnic background and like the name of my channel, I'm just gonna be very biased towards Islam. But I do encourage you guys to read through both of these books on your own, decide which one's better on your own, think about which religions like more like impressive on your own think about like do your own research i'm not don't if you think i'm being intellectually dishonest and biased and whatever you want to call it do your own research i do encourage you just to like like you should be able to get like a free copy of the quran and the bible it's like very easy to get like the bible the holy bible the full ex the full holy bible the king james version of the bible for completely like nearly cheap pennies i literally got this for like a pound and that was like literally free i think so or maybe I paid a pound for it, I don't know. You can get like the Bible and the Quran, it's like pennies, they're literally, they're, the people give them out for free, literally. If you know where to look and like, you got you, make, you can make the right connections, you can get these few like texts for free. Bible, the Quran, you can get these books for free, literally. And so I do encourage you guys to research and do your own research. You might think that, because like my ethnic background and the nature of this channel, the name of this channel, I'm just being biased. You can do your own research on this, guys. You don't have to take my opinions for it, but I do. In a nutshell, I do believe Islam or Christianity. I do. I would lean towards Islam because the Quran doesn't have like as many atrocities. It's not as bloody as the Bible. The, the Bible is a lot more atrocious and violent and bloody, horrific, etc. But you guys, you can do your own research. And I don't want this video to be too long. And that's about it. Islam or Christianity. I'm really lean towards Islam. But you can do your own research if you think if you think I'm being biased.